Hello guys, today I'm interviewing Gideon Jones. He is four wins, two defeats, and he's back out um 26th of November, Wembley Arena. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Yes. Do you have tickets? So like are you selling tickets for this fight? Yeah, so it was a bit it was a bit last minute, but um I've been yeah, I've been at, so I can sell tickets, but um, it's done a bit different now. I think they've got to um, send the money to me, and then and then I get the tickets and allocate it to them. Then I'll be with them through an app. Um, I think that's the way they're doing it for this fight. Oh, so how much are the tickets? Um, I think it ranges from so six. So you've got forty, sixty, and I think it goes up to five hundred. But it's around that sort of mark. From forty pound to five hundred pound. Obviously, five hundred pound is like the ringside and whatnot, and then forty is like the standard sort of tickets. Yeah. So you're fighting. It's a six rounder, is it, mate? Yeah, yeah, six rounder. Against an undefeated Mason Dixon, is it? No, um, Mark Mark Dickinson. Mark. Um, yeah, undefeated. Dickinson. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. He's three yeah, and yeah. nine. Yeah. No offense. Even when you lost your first fight, it see um when you lost to Billy, it seems like you're getting more opportunities now. You've lost that fight. Yeah, literally, that's that's what me and my team's been saying. It's like it's like um uh, a blessing in disguise, you know. It's boxing. Um, yeah, and things can just happen. So you just got to be prepared. You have got to be in shape. Um, for whatever opportunity gets thrown out. But, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this stage in my career because I know um, not a lot of boxers get to always fight as much as they would like. So I'm I'm getting these fights in a short period of time and maybe I haven't had the best time to prepare, but I'm loving it at the moment. I can't lie. Yeah, and you're there to cause the upset. Yeah, exactly. Always. Always, always there to win. Never there to lay down. Always there to win. Yeah, you're, go you're going to impress Eddie Hearn when you win, mate. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, but yeah, we. To be fair, like a anyone who's in front of me, you know, like I try to block out the outside. Um, everything, everything else is good, but you know, when you're in the ring, it's just you and your opponent. You know, you and the other man. So you're just thinking about ways how to beat them, and and then if you lose, you go back to the drawing board, see what you can do better, and carry on going. Yeah. So, so. How many days notice or weeks notice did you get for the fight? Wait, you fought last weekend, was it? Yeah, so I got two weeks notice for that. Um, I got two weeks notice for this for that fight. For this fight, I got told on Monday. So around the, around the same amount of notice for each fight. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's well, a big opportunity on both because they're both got televised, aren't they, on the big platform? Exactly. Exactly. So it's a big platform, you know. It's different from the small wall shows when you're um, f compared to a an arena, I found, um, from my last outing. Um, just, like, different things, like, the atmosphere is a bit different. Not not like, I'm not saying one's better than the other, but it's very different, you know. So it's good to to be on that stage, because obviously that's what all, all boxers aspire to, to get to. So and not getting many, on that stage... Not many people, after a loss, would jump straight back into a, a, a tough fight, especially yeah, exactly, early yeah. in your career. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I think that's just the way I am, you know, like, obviously, I, I'm a soldier, you know, like, <laughs> by nature, I'm, it's my actual job as well. So it's like a anything, you know, I, I haven't really got fear for any for any man. So any situation that comes, I'm raring to go because I just love fighting. So, yeah. That's good to hear, mate. Did you have an amateur career then? I did have an amateur career, but not nothing extensive. You know, I did I did um, six fights before I joined the army, six fights whilst in the army. Um, I got I got an opportunity to join the army boxing team and go down that route, but with with the regiment that I was in, it could it couldn't work work hand in hand. So just turned pro and. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. I mean, everything happens for a reason, and I've enjoyed it. Isn't is Fabio Wardley your teammate? Yeah, yeah. So F Fabio Wardley's um, 
uh, teammate. You know, he's he's in the gym. He's working hard as well. So his his title title fight. Fight. Yeah, he's got a British title fight. So everyone's excited about. It. It's funny because uh, you know, um, like I would have been watching Fabio, you know, fight. You know, ran ran him on to win, and now we're on the same card. So it's amazing how things can work out. So after your fight, would you um, watch his fight afterwards? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. You know, he's a teammate. You know, you you, you want you want who, everyone around you to do well. So yeah, shit, um, whatever. I'll I'll be I'll be supporting Fabio, regardless. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think Fabio Wardley's gonna stop Nathan? Yeah, he's definitely got the attributes to stop to stop him. Nathan is good as well. But you know, Fabio, he's he's a heavyweight, but he's more he's got like the attributes of a middleweight in the in his terms of his footwork and he can punch really hard. So yeah, he can definitely stop Nathan Gorman. It will he, be a he good showed fight. That against Nick Webb. Yeah, exactly. And a lot of people thought that would have gone the distance, but Fabio just got him out there um straight, like yeah. Re- relative, yeah, re- relatively he didn't have a mark in him or anything. The same thing when he fought, um, who was when he fought for the English title? They've said that that will be a tough fight. Simon Valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simon Valley, yeah. So um, he just keeps from proving it wrong. So yeah, I feel like he's going to rise up to the occasion. I feel like the busier the occasion will be, the better he will step up. Yeah. So is there going to be like a press conference that you're going to be attending to? Yeah, I'm I'm not too, too sure with everything yet as of now. But, I be, yeah, I believe I, I, will, I, sh- I should do on Thursday. But if not, then we just crack on and yeah. get ready for the fight. I know I know the weigh-in is going to be in public in Westfields, I believe. And then, yeah, um, from there we just get ready to fight. How long have you been training with your trainer currently? Um, so... I've met someone I was 19, I'm 23 now, so four years, four years I've known Rob for. I've known him as long as, um, yeah, I've known him for four years. I've been training with him for four years. Is, so we've is, got quite quite a close relationship. Is Victor Smith your manager? Yeah, yeah, Victor Smith is my manager. He's, he, I've known Victor Smith for three years. Because you fought Jake Bray. Yeah, yeah, I fought Jake Bray, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was a good win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was a good. It was a, it was a good fight actually. Good, good learning fight. Jake Bray, you know, he even though he's a journeyman, he's I wouldn't say he's rubbish. You know, he comes to win. He's beaten uh, like prospects before, so yeah. That that was a good little um, fight for me. You know, good experience. What about that, um, Billy Jackson? Is it? Billy Jackson, yeah, that was that was, that, my was first a good, that was a great fight though. Yeah, it was a good fight, you know. I felt um I felt as if my my energy, because we did the same day weighing, so I didn't have the energy that I usually have. You know, I felt pretty drained when I fought. Um but yeah, still still not still taking no nothing from Billy, you know. He he, he went there and fought a better fight and won. But I definitely felt that I was drained um during that fight. Maybe that will be a rematch in the future. You never know. Yeah, exactly. 100%. 100%. You never know. Just got to keep working hard. The person you... I can't pronounce his name. Who did you fight um, Friday? Oh, Her- Herbert Conceira. Herbert Conceira. Yeah. We, he, was he an Olympian, were you saying? Yeah, yeah. He was a gold medalist in the uh, t- um, Olympics as just went. So the Tokyo 2020, he, he was a gold medalist. Um, so was he, that he, he fight? That. Was that fight your ha- ha- Was that harder than the Billy Jackson fight, or was Billy Jackson harder because you were a little bit drained? So I say because I was drained, that was harder physically. But obviously, in terms of um, boxing ability, obviously Herbert's a gold medalist, so he's going to have the absolute top boxing skill. So it was good to get in. So and do you in, in there. do you think that Herbert would be? Billy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's a very good boxer. But both of them are good fighters. Yeah, yeah, they're both good fighters. But obviously Herbert's got that Olympic pedigree, you know, um, which is the highest level that any amateur boxer can achieve. So, it's, it's, yeah. So, 
are, are you boxing at middleweight? So yeah, I'm boxing at middleweight now. I was at super weight. Um, obviously, I felt drained with the same day weighing. Maybe if I did a day before weighing, it wouldn't have been as bad. But same day was a bit taxing. Obviously, I'm 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 pretty big as it is. So, um, so yeah, I'm going middleweight now. I feel I feel good at that weight. So that's where you want to be fighting at. Yeah, that's why I'll be campaigning at middleweight. Un unless you get, would you ever move up to super middle, or is that too? Um, obviously, I'm 23 now, so who knows when I'm 27, who knows how big I'll get. And I'll probably get bigger, I'll probably fill up a bit more. You've still so, got yeah. a, bit, a long career ahead of you. Exactly. So, super middleweight is definitely something that I think is it is likely to happen. But obviously, as of now, um, I was, middleweight is my limit. Because um, obviously, I wanted to campaign that super welterweight, but uh, seemed to be drain at that weight. So yeah, middleweight at the moment is, is the one for me. Yes. So do you ever get nervous before you fight? Um not really to be fair. Not really. Not 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 nerves. Sometimes I'm excited, but I wouldn't say nervous. Yeah, I'm pretty chill. I'm I'm a chill person as it is, so I feel like that sort of just trans transfers into the ring. Yes. And my last question for you is, actually, do you want to shout out anyone who's helped you in your career so far? Oh, there's loads, you know, like from from amateur days, you know, my my, um, my amateur club, Shoot ABC, from Army Bots and my Army Bots and coaches. Um, there's too many, you know, I'll be here all day. But yeah, my current team now, my, my current coach now, you know, we're very close, you know, they put in a lot of work into me, my gym, my manager, just my friends, everyone, literally. I've, I've got so much support, it's, it's it's overwhelming sometimes. So, yeah, um, yeah, that's everyone around me, you know, they, they, they show love. Yeah. And before I let you go, do you have any advice for someone who wants to be a boxer? Um... You say, but it's just like get in there and learn. You know, like um, fight fight boxers who are better than you, who's had more experience than you. Get beat up a bit. Um, just go in there. You know, make it make it harder for yourself. You know, get up early. Make make it hard in a sense, and it will just be easier when you get in the ring. That's that's what I say. You know, it's not an easy journey. Um, it's not always what you think it will be. So just go in there in the hard situations, and you'll be prepared for when you get in the ring. Yeah. Good luck in your fight um, on the 26th. You're going to smash him. I appreciate that, bro. Thank you. Thank you for your time, mate. Bye. Right. Cheers, bro. See you later. Cheers, mate. Bye.